So uh, I'm not the only person checking out the new M4 convertible on the stand. The guy walking away there is Tobias Merz, who's the boss of AMG. So um, it's always great when you see someone from a rival manufacturer just casually walking around, checking out the, uh, the opposition. So um, anyway, enough of that. Let's, let's have a look at this M4 uh, convertible. It's a very important car for us. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm still trying to get my head around the uh, number four next to an M badge. Um, this is the M4 convertible. Now, again, this is the uh, world debut of this car here in, here in New York. Um, now, let's tell you a little bit about this car. Now, it's uh, around 1750 kilos, so it's about 250 kilos heavier than the coupe. Um, it's a folding hardtop roof, which accounts for a lot of that weight. So, I mean, let's face it, it's a bit of a fatty. Um, it has 423 horsepower from a twin turbo straight six engine. Again, it's exactly the same as the M3 Saloon and the M4 Coupe. Um, it's rear wheel drive, of course. It has the active M differential, which means playtime, basically. If you enjoy oversteer, then the active differential helps you there. Um, it does 0 to 60 in around 4.4 seconds. Now that's about 0.3 slower uh, than the coupe. Um, and a manual gearbox is standard, but you can have the twin clutch uh, as, as an option as well. Now, um, well, you tell me about this car, to be honest, because um, it's obviously not going to be the pure driver's choice, but I should think the sound of that straight six engine, um, the open top, uh, four seats, I think, um, it's going to be a compelling option for some people, but I suppose the fascinating thing is that there is a kind of a range now. You can have an M3 Saloon, as it is. You can have the M4 Coupe, or you can have the uh, M4 Convertible. So, yeah, you tell me. Which, which one would you have?